The Mexican president who confirmed as of Monday that he will no longer be participating in the summit. Acerca de la cumbre. Regarding the summit, now we can inform the people of Mexico that I will not be attending the summit. The foreign minister is going on my behalf and on behalf of the government. And I'm not going to the summit because not all the countries of the Americas were invited. I do not accept that anyone should be placed above other countries. All countries, however small they may be, are free and independent. This was uh, very much a valid point that has been echoed by other uh, regional allies, including Honduras, Bolivia. In a very similar move, they also decided that they will not be uh, participating at the presidential level, rather only at the foreign ministry uh, level. So this uh, looks bad on many fronts. Now, it, first of all, it looks bad on the U.S. government because it was just days before the summit taking off, essentially, where we still didn't have uh, clarity on the final guest list. And it also shows the lack of unity. We're looking at a situation where uh, many of these countries in uh, smaller regional alliances are essentially standing up against the United States. They're expressing their own position, saying uh, that the United States shouldn't be making these ideological political decisions, which they say is the case here. High up on the agenda is the issue of immigration, uh, particularly important for the United States. As you know, in recent years, we've seen a growing number of migrants and asylum seekers uh, coming to the U.S.-Mexico border, uh, trying to cross the border. And right ahead of the midterm elections here in the U.S., that's a hot button issue. So. President Biden would like to address that issue, but he really needs more of a collaboration from Mexico, from other states in Central America. So with this uh, current situation, we're not sure how much of a, of a cooperation we will see within the summit.